In today's video, you are going to learn how to easily improve the visibility of your website in Google search results by adding frequently asked question content specific to your business on your web pages. The results, this content will appear directly under your website links, may be picked to be the best answer to a question and sit right at the top of the search results or feature in the people also ask section all of which will drive more traffic to your site. There are plenty of other benefits to be considered, so stay tuned to find out more. Hey, my name is Luke Durand, the founder of rankingacademy.co.uk. If it's your first time here today, why don't you subscribe and click on the bell button so you don't miss any of my future videos. Adding FAQ content to web pages has become an essential part of my recommended content strategy to all of my clients. The main reason behind this is because over time, Google has transformed itself from being a search engine to an answering engine. What does that mean? It means that Google is focusing a lot more on answering questions and trying to understand the intent of searchers based on their query for which they can provide an answer. The most obvious evidence of this is the inclusion of the people also ask section in the search results, which appears for almost all keyword searches and can be extended to infinity, I think. Google has also been granted multiple patents, which confirms this is the way they are going. Since Google sources the answers from the content it finds on websites, I strongly suggest you join the party and start adding FAQ related content to your web pages if you want to drive more traffic to your website and don't want to be left behind. Beyond being more visible on Google, adding FAQs to your web pages will help create more in depth content in which you can add the keywords you are targeting. It will also help your website visitors find answers to questions they may have normally called you for. Now, the question is, how do you find the most suitable frequently asked questions to add to your web pages? Let's start with the simplest method of them all. Listen to your clients. Whatever vertical you're in, your clients are one of the most reliable sources of information. What do they ask for the most? What are the most recurring questions amongst all of your customers? Start collecting them daily. You can use a Google Sheet for that, for example. And whenever you have the time, just scrap the answers. Consider categorizing them by theme or services too, so it's easier to integrate them on individual pages of your website later on. Think of it this way. If you collect one question a day and wrote the answer for it after a month you'd have you guessed it 30 new faqs you can add to your website that's what i called quality content it will be highly relevant and unique to your business not to mention that it's also free but there is another even smarter way of doing this three weeks ago i published a video that showed how you can do keyword research for your business in just three clicks the result a dashboard called the what where why when how and can which shows instantly what questions potential customers are asking to find your product or services. You can even filter the results by the most popular ones through the number of impressions. This is an example of a dashboard for one of my clients who is an electrician. As you can see, there are tons of FAQs I could consider adding to his website based on that dashboard. Since the data comes directly from the Google search console associated with this business, it is 100% reliable and highly relevant. If you missed the video that explains how to do this, I recommend you watch it right after this one. There will be a link at the end. If you don't know what your clients ask for the most, let's say you're just starting out and you can't access the keyword dashboard for some reason, here are another two ways of finding some great FAQs. Head over to a site called answerthepublic.com. Search for a term that is related to a service you provide. Let's say I'm a dentist and want to find out about teeth whitening. This will automatically generate related questions for this particular term. Just like for the dashboard in a previous example, the questions will be sorted using the adverbs why, what, where, etc., which you can use to integrate on your web pages. Unlike the dashboard, however, these questions are scraped from the Google autocomplete functionality and not directly related to your business. AnswerThePublic.com is free to use, but you can only do two searches a day, otherwise you'll have to pay. If you need more resources to find popular questions you can use, my last recommendation is Google, of course. Using the teeth whitening example, you can see what some of the most popular questions are and extend them at will. Use this as an inspiration to create your own. Once you've created your list of FAQs, you'll need to craft the answers for them. Here, you'll have two options. 
option number one, do it yourself. Or option number two, pay for someone to do it. Whichever option you decide to go for, make sure the answers are unique. Don't copy and paste something you have found on the internet. I won't linger too long on this one, just decide what is best for you. Time to move on to the implementation part. By now you should have your list of relevant questions, including answers and sorted by categories. All you need to do is copy and paste them on your individual web pages, right? Not so fast. While FAQ content from your website can appear directly into the people also ask section or as a direct answer to a question, they will not show under your website link results unless you add what is known as FAQ schema coding to them. If you don't know what schema coding is, here's a simple explanation from Mars.com. Schema is a semantic vocabulary of tags or microdata that you can add to your HTML to improve the way search engines read and represent your page in search engine result pages. In our case, adding schema code to our FAQs will make them appear in Google just like this. Don't panic, you don't need to be a pro coder to do this. I'm going to show you exactly how it's done so you can do it too. It's super simple. Let me show you how by jumping on the computer. Firstly, you need to add your questions to your web page as you would with any other piece of content. Using my Electrician Climbs Keyword Research Dashboard, I have identified a question that might be useful to add to one of his pages. Are all fuse boxes illegal? There is a page on this electrician's website that talks about fuse boxes, which already has a few FAQs in it. Since this question seems to drive a lot of impressions from my client's website on Google, but not a lot of clicks, Adding it to the mix might help the page rank higher in Google and also get picked up in either the people also ask section or as a direct answer. So let's just quickly do that. I've already prepared the content. All I need to do is add it to the existing list. So now let's add the schema coding to it. To do this, uh, we're gonna head over to a site called technicalseo.com, select the SEO tool option and scroll down and choose the schema generator tool. From the drop down, select the FAQ page option. Uh, in the question field, add your question. In the answer field, add the answer, obviously. And if you have more than one question, click on the add button and repeat the process. Since I'm adding one question to an existing list, I should add them all at once to create only one script. But for the sake of this example, I'll, I'll just add the one. Once you're done adding all your questions, on the right hand side, you'll see the FAQ schema code being generated automatically. All you need to do is copy the code using this button and inject it into the HTML head of your web page. If you are using WordPress, I suggest you install a plugin called Header and Footer Script, which will easily let you add your FAQ schema code directly into the head of the page. If you're on Wix, just go to the page settings, select the Advanced SEO tab, add the new markup option. Give it a name and paste your script in there. Other content management systems work very much the same way, so refer to your vendor if you are unsure how to do this. You need to make sure that the FAQ schema content matches the editorial content that is available on your page. So if you have five questions showing on your page, the script you've injected in the header of it should also contain five identical questions. In my example, I already had a list of seven questions. Since I added one more, it now makes eight questions, which should also be available in the script. Once you've added your FAQ content and your schema code to your page, you can test it all works fine. Head over to search.google.com slash test slash rich results. Select the URL option and paste the address of the page where you've added your content. If you've done things correctly, you should see an FAQ card with a green tick next to it, which means your implementation is fine. Clicking on it will provide the breakdown of all available FAQs Google can see. All you need to do now is wait for Google to visit your page and index your new content. It can take less than 24 hours for your pages to show the rich FAQ snippet appearing under your web link. A couple of notes, a maximum of two FAQs will be displayed at once. Generally speaking, they will be the ones that can be found first on the page itself. FAQ snippets will not appear if the home page of your website is the page that shows up in search results. We could leave it here, but since you've done most of the work already, it would be a shame to miss on the very last tip. While it's great for your content to be featured in the suggested answer results on Google, you may miss out on people 
clicking on your website links because they have found the answer to the question. To avoid this, consider inserting links directly within your FAQs to give a good reason to searchers to click through to your site, like in this example. You need to do this for the content on your page, which is a piece of cake, but also add it to the FAQ schema script. The problem is schema coding doesn't like double quotes that can be found in normal HTML when you create a link on a page, so you can't do a copy and paste. In this example, the link on this page would look like this. As you can see, the web address is included in double quoted mark. The way around it is simple. Replace the double quoted mark with single ones when you create your FAQ script and the links will show up in your FAQ results. That's all there is to it. That's it for today, guys. Ignore FAQs at your peril. It is such an easy way of creating content. It would be a shame to miss out. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If it was your first time here today, remember to subscribe and until next time, happy marketing.